Our next guest was in the room with George Papandreou months ago when the Greek Prime Minister was working on an earlier austerity plan. Daniel Gross is the director for the Center for European Policy Studies. He has previously advised the European Parliament, the EC, worked as a researcher as well at the IMF. He is joining us right now on the phone from Brussels. Daniel, glad to have you with us this morning. The Greek PM took a gamble with the vote and he survived. Are you surprised by the outcome? Are you surprised that he got support for these $40 billion worth of tough budget cuts ahead? Uh, no, because his own party realizes that uh, if they didn't support him now, then they would stay naked, uh, they wouldn't get the money from the EU, uh, they would be default and a very messy default, and they would be out of office uh, very quickly. So it's in their own interest and that of Greece that they did vote for these budget cuts. Daniel, I like what you said about it being a messy default because everybody seems to agree that an organized default is, is possible and even not the worst case scenario, but a messy default uh, obviously is pretty much the worst case scenario. You mentioned the confidence vote. That's step one. Step two, though, is going to be passing this broad legislation that authorizes the budget cuts and then these detailed laws that put them into action. It seems like politicians from any country could argue those details forever. You've been in the room with Papandreou. What are the chances of him steering Greece through these next nitty gritty political steps? Um, I think the, what we're seeing right now is only the first step. Uh, Parliament votes all these laws and regulations on privatization, on budget cuts. And then uh, there's an administration which has to implement all that stuff. And that's where the question arises, because even the best prime minister cannot run after every bureaucrat in his country. There are hundreds of thousands of them. And my feeling is that uh, in Greece, uh, the government at the top has very little control over the bureaucracy at the bottom. And uh, that is, I think, the biggest danger which remains. And uh, we have seen over the last year that that can derail even the best laid plans. Because we know Greece's two major umbrella unions are actually protest protesting already. Is that part of the bureaucracy that you think can just continue to rebel against the government? No, this open rebellion was more or less a foregone conclusion. It has to be confronted, and if there's a law in Parliament, then probably on paper the privatizations will pass. But you have to have look at the detail, how you implement budget cuts, who gets less money, what are the detailed regulations which say somebody gets a lower paycheck or a lower pension this month. And uh, if that is really, um, or say, sabotaged at the lower levels of bureaucracy, then at the very top they are helpless. Daniel Gross, thank you so much. Daniel Gross, director of the Center for European Policy Studies, joining us there. You heard him say it. The vote of confidence is just the first step. And even though the Greek PM has support, you heard him say there are lower levels of bureaucracy that could actually sabotage the plan.